These are the Samsung Galaxy S20 and the S20 Plus, the latest and greatest phones by Samsung that leapfrog the iPhone with features like 5G connectivity, huge batteries, super smooth 120Hz displays and zoom cameras that Apple just doesn't have. This year they come in the shadow of an even bigger Samsung launch, the Galaxy S20 Ultra, the third in the series, a gigantic 6.9 inch phone with an even better camera and even longer battery life. But here's the thing, the sheer size of the Ultra is just a bit extreme. It's an overkill of a phone that costs a bit more than reasonable. And while these two are expensive as well, make no mistake, these are the phones that most people will buy. And for a good reason. Here's what makes the new Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus special. First, let's talk size. Remember the super compact Galaxy S10e from last year? Well, that experiment is now officially over. The new S20 is now the smallest in the series and it's about the same size as last year's S10, while the S20 Plus matches the size of the S10 Plus. Gone is the annoying Bixby button and now you have just the power key and the volume keys on the right. The design is glass and metal, familiar but with a few new colors. Now both phones are available in cosmic black and cosmic grey but you can also get the smaller S20 in a pink version and the plus one in a blue version. These are not just straight pink and blue colors but when light hits them you get a bit of a color gradient and they look very nice. One thing is missing though, the headphone jack. You saw it coming. Samsung first removed it from the Galaxy Note 10 Plus last year and now it's gone from all new Galaxy S20 phones. I would personally miss it but what about you? Are you over this? Let me know in the comments. I know you can't wait to hear about the new camera but let's spend a moment talking about the screens because Samsung raised the bar here. 6.2 inches on the S20, 6.7 inches on the Plus. Both the latest and greatest of Samsung AMOLED technology with lush colors, perfect blacks and excellent viewing angles. But also something else that you will love, 120Hz refresh rate double the standard 60Hz that we used to have until now and it is a game changer as it makes scrolling and just using your phone appear so much smoother. Ok, the camera, a brand new zoom lens so you can zoom up to 30 times, a new super steady option, improved night mode, new sensors, there is a lot to talk about. But first let me show you the differences in camera specs against the S20 Ultra, the big gun that overshadows these phones a bit. So instead of the new 108 megapixel sensor on the Ultra, here you get a 12 megapixel main sensor. What this means is you don't use the main camera for the flashy new 8K video mode on the S20 and the S20 Plus, but instead use the 2x zoom telephoto one. You can see all these differences laid out in detail here and so you probably wonder, are they really that significant? I cannot tell you just yet as we need more time shooting with these phones, but my first impressions are that zooming 10 or 100 times is cool but not exactly necessary every time. Having a 3x hybrid optic zoom like on the S20 and up to 30x digital one might just be enough for many people. And next, let's also talk about batteries and 5G because yes, both the S20 and the Plus support 5G in compatible markets. Both support sub 6 and millimeter wave bands and they have big batteries for that. You have a 4000 mAh battery in the S20 and a 4500 mAh cell on the Plus. And all of this while they remain extremely thin at just 0.3 inches. Fast charging is also on board and you have the newer second generation fast wireless charging as well. The processor is Snapdragon 865 on both phones which means top level performance and you also get 8GB of RAM on the base model. There is also a version with 12GB of RAM if you want the absolute best and this will depend on the market so some markets may get one and others the other. Now what else, you have an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor built inside the screen to unlock the phone. Fortunately we did not get to test it, we're not sure how it works but it's there. You also have 128GB of onboard storage plus support for microSD cards. Actually here is the full spec sheet, pause that video and take a close look if you really want the nitty gritty. At the end of the day the Galaxy S20 and the S20 Plus are not something crazy and brand new like a foldable phone. But they give users just what users want. Longer battery life, 120Hz super smooth screens, versatile camera that can zoom and capture great detail, 5G connectivity and Samsung also throws in a pair of its new wireless Buds Plus with the Galaxy S20 Plus for free. 
so the prices of the new S20 are also more expensive than ever, but these phones pull no punches. So this wraps up our first look at the Galaxy S20 and the Galaxy S20 Plus. Do you have any questions about them? I'll be happy to answer them in the comments right below. Smash that like button if you enjoyed watching this, click that subscribe button to see more from us. My name is Vic, this is Phone Arena and I will see you in the next one.